Hi, I'm Bill Wodrowski from LifeWise Pet Nutrition and today's uh, video follows on from where we left off with why does your puppy food come in both small and large bites. After we put that one up we got a question from Jill who asked what age is best for them to change from small to big? Well that's a very good question Jill and uh, unfortunately it goes right into the more technical details so, um, so we're going to try and explain that to you today. But first I want to introduce you to a concept of growth whereby we describe growth or we measure growth as a percentage increase in body weight daily. So what that actually means is if we had a little baby pup and he weighed 200 grams and our 200 gram pup was growing at 20% uh, sorry 10% of his body weight per day he would be putting on today 20 grams which means tomorrow he would weigh 220 grams. If he continued to grow at 10% of his body weight each day, he'd put on 22 grams on that day. So the next day he'd be 242 grams. And so it goes on and it goes on. Now, in reality, when our baby pups are born, they're going to be growing at somewhere up around that 10% mark. But as they age, they're going to grow less and less and less until they get to maturity over here whereby they've got zero growth in terms of body weight increase per day. About halfway through this growth period from birth to maturity is where we get to mature height. And it's for this reason that we say that a puppy should be fed as a puppy for twice the length of time that it takes to get to mature height. So for a small breed, like a toy breed, for example, it might get to this mature height stage at about five months of age, which means that it's going to be mature at about 10 months of age. But if we're talking about a large breed dog like a German Shepherd, say, he might not get to mature height until he's 12 months of age. And then by that stage, he's, going to, um, he's not going to reach maturity until he's about two years old. And so we'd want to feed him as a puppy right through to that point in time. So Jill, the answer to the question is not that there is no sort of given time or there's no given weight. It basically comes back to what, so, what size breed of dog we're actually working with. So for a little dog, like a, our, our toy breed, he might still have quite a small mouth and he might get to this point here at five months of age where he's still quite happy eating the small bite food. You may also change from the very small turkey, uh, small bite turkey food, you might want to change the lamb and fish, which is an intermediate size, and that would be more than adequate to take him right through to maturity. But for that large breed pup where we're talking about like the, the German Shepherd, sure, we'd want to start him right back up here on the small breed, on, on, the, on the small breed um, puppy food, because that really is designed to cater for, for dogs up here that are, on, um, are being weaned. It's a true weaning diet. And uh, then, our, then our medium sized food takes over and it follows in into this and it's really handy in this area. But if you've got a big breed dog like a German Shepherd or a Rottie or something like this, by the stage they time to get up to here, they've got a big mouth and they don't want these tiny little pieces of food. So that's when we can transition them to a large breed dog. And I think in our last video, we said that, uh, in answer to the question we had there, that 14 kilos was a great time to change. In actual fact, you can actually change earlier than 14 kilos in weight, but it really comes down to just how big the particle, the, 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 uh, how big the dog is and just how much he wants to feed in one, in one meal. So for the large breed dogs, right through this whole period here, we'd be feeding, we'd be feeding the, large, the large size because uh, we don't want them to just scoff that food down too quickly. We don't want them to have it dribbling out the side of their mouth and making a mess on the floor. We want them to enjoy the meal in just the same way as we enjoy our meals. So there you go, Jill. I hope that uh, I hope that answers your question to some to some extent. Um, as I said, there is no set time to change. It really is all about the physical aspects of the food and what uh, and what size breed of dog that you're actually rearing. So there you go. Hopefully that answers the question. And um, if you've got any more, please send them in. And until then, we'll see you next time.